before laying the foundation, I would say that my business really lacked a solid strategy for collection design. It was actually the third class I had taken with Flourish and Thrive, so I had been spending a lot of time working on working on my business versus in my business, creating systems, all that really good stuff, but I still felt really lost when it came to actually creating the collection. I had um, kind of dove into outsourcing and created a handful of pieces that I really, really loved, but I had no idea how to make them into a set that was marketable both on my website and also to uh, buyers to do wholesale. And I felt like I had perhaps been spinning my wheels in a direction that I shouldn't have. Um, and I really needed some guidance to make sure I didn't waste any more time. Since taking Laying the Foundation, I would say that I definitely have a direction for my collection. I started with a handful of pieces that were very niche, uh, they're animal focused, and I was struggling on how to kind of force them into the idea of the more traditional collection that we see, and I was trying to, I keep describing it by going wide versus deep. I wanted to try to do more types of pieces, and it just didn't fit because I had these really different animal pieces and designs, and through the collection review I realized that I was definitely on the right track, just a different track that I didn't realize. I needed to take my collection wider. I needed to create more animals. And then I also decided to create them in different sizes. So my collection actually consists of still um, very similar pieces of jewelry, but yet all very different. And they are, they attract different buyers. So I have a set of raving fans who have loved my designs from the beginning, but they may have not have seen the one that they were initially attracted to. And so by adding more animals, I have created a line that's both marketable and I have a full set of line sheets. And now I have something for almost everybody, which has been great. I absolutely had no hesitation signing up. Um, I had already taken two different courses with Flourish and Thrive before this. I kind of came on board after the first round had ended, so I kind of took them out of chronological order. But I knew from my experience with the other classes that it would definitely be worth my time. And I would learn a ton, especially since each course focuses on such different areas. I was lacking in what laying the foundation would teach me, and it was a great investment of my time. It opened up a whole new, kind of a whole new world of design for me. Like, I felt like I was free to to keep going in this direction that I that I really loved and was drawn to, and then also to keep it in the realm where it was creating a collection. If you haven't taken any Flourish and Thrive classes, then you should definitely uh, get in on this one because it's going to steer you in the right direction to start. Since I came at it from uh, kind of the last course I took, I felt like I was kind of playing catch-up a little bit, and I wish that I'd had these lessons to, to start out. Um, but you can't beat the, the specific information that you get for jewelry designer. And then also the community is, is fantastic. So it's something that you're not going to get anywhere else.